Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am playing with this beautiful new stamp set from Brutus Monroe. It's called Mother's Bouquet. It's gorgeous floral. Gorgeous. Um, it also says Happy Mother's Day. Um, I'm not going to be using the Mother's Day portion of it. I'm just going to be using this floral. And I've also got some khaki, some white, and some vellum. And then I'm going to be playing with the new Chroma Mists. So let's see what I can do. All right, you guys, I am starting out by using a stamp positioner tool and a piece of vellum. So I went ahead and used my antiseptic powder bag uh, on top of that vellum, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, stamp set uh, on to that vellum. And I am using the Brutus Monroe uh, clear embossing ink for that. Now I've turned my paper over, or I turn it a quarter of a way, I should say. I don't turn it over. Don't turn it over. You'll ruin all that beautiful embossing ink you just placed on that vellum. Um, and then I'm just dumping my Raven embossing ink down onto my uh, layout here. Now I should have... Um, not just turned my paper, I should have probably repositioned my stamp uh, because I have one end of my stamp set is this leafy bit at the end. Uh, and then the other bit over here on the right or up at the top, you can see it is the, uh, the stem. Um, but I wasn't thinking about that. Um, if I did this layout over again, I would probably have the stems meet up and maybe stamp out a couple more of the florals and have it cover up the stems. Um, but like I said, I wasn't thinking about that. I just thought that I wanted it to be an L shape. Uh, but I love the result. Like I'm looking at this and I love it. So there's nothing on this layout that I think is horrible or I'm like, oh man, why did I do that? Um, it's just for future reference. Um, if you don't want the stem on one side, uh, you'll probably want to uh, be a little bit more careful. Now, I am using Brutus Monroe Chroma Mists to go ahead and paint in my vellum. Um, I'm using three separate colors, leaf green, bumblebee yellow, and candy apple red. So the Chroma Mists are pretty awesome, guys. It is a dye-based uh, mistable ink. It's water-reactive, um, so you can mist everywhere. You can ombre, you can spray, you can splatter, and obviously you can paint with it. Uh, fun fact, you can also go ahead and... Uh, colorize texture paste. Uh, that is one thing that I have done as well. So I'm just using a paintbrush. Now this paintbrush is one of my mom's old ceramic paintbrushes. Um, I have a good amount of them. Um, you can, you might be able to make out her name at the end. It says Eileen on it. Um, I do have this video sped up quite fast um, because this was a very long video, you guys, a very long video. And I really didn't know which parts to cut out because they're all magic. I love the um, embossing. I love the painting. I loved it all. Like this was, this layout just made me super ridiculously happy. Um, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to cut out any of it. Um, and that's, that's when you know you are having a good time with your craft. Um, you're, you just enjoy it. You're enjoying the products. You're enjoying the photos. You're just enjoying it. Um, I mean, I want to paint on vellum, uh, like items, items, you know, things that have been embossed on, on vellum, I want to paint all the things now. Like this is just, this was completely enjoyable for me. Um, and it had nothing to do with the layout or nothing to do with scrapbooking, but this process right here, just loved it. Like it was relaxing. I felt good. I was sad. I legitimately was sad when I filled in the last uh, bit of color. Um, which is why I am going over uh, the places a couple more times because, you know, I didn't want it to end. 
So that is really exciting. Um, and it's gorgeous. I just think that this is absolutely beautiful. Um, I am going to uh, let this dry. Um, just look at it. It's beautiful. And I don't know why the heck I was wiping my paper so much. Um, but yeah, look at that. It's just gorgeous. And then I thought I was trying to determine uh, if I wanted to leave this uh, floral uh, intact over top of the vellum and just place it completely over top of a 12 by 12 page. Or um, if I was going to fussy cut it. So while that was um, drying, while I was waiting for those chroma mists to dry over top of that vellum, I decided to create a background. Now I end up not using that background. Um, I do have it off to the side uh, because I it's a beautiful background. It's just not what I want it for this one. So now I'm getting more of what I wanted, which was more white open space uh, with the splatters abounding. So I do go ahead and fussy cut this out. I figured um, I didn't want the vellum to kind of mute the, uh, the chroma mist that was in the background. Um, I did turn off the camera. Um, I got called for dinner, so I turned off the camera, uh, went and ate dinner, and fussy cut and then forgot to turn the camera on when I was fussy cutting so just went ahead and did that. Now I trimmed down that white sheet of cardstock uh, and I placed it on some khaki cardstock so it's got this nice thick border um, and then I just had this scrap of yellow paper on my desk so I went ahead and matted up my photo. I am using some foam uh, squares to pop my vellum up um, and then I'm going to adhere the leaves down. Um, I'm going to tuck my photo in so that I am on top of some of the leaves and underneath of some of the other leaves and then I pull out this gorgeous stencil of the month. I'm going to place it down with some purple tape. Um, don't tell anybody but I'm using a pocket acrylic acetate and acetate pocket card as a palette to mix this up um so yeah I'm on a quest to use up my pocket cards and um, this wasn't what I had in mind when I was uh on that quest but it just happened so as you saw I did have some media paste I put some chroma mist right in there and colored up that media paste. Now I didn't wait for it to dry. I did put my photo right on top of it. Um, if that stresses you out, then wait for it to dry, but it didn't. It didn't stress me out. I decided to do a sketchy border around the outside um, where the white and the khaki meet up with each other. Um, and then I pull out my uh, stamp set um, and then I decided to combine two of them together to spell out hello beautiful. I am going to be using my absolute favorite black ink and that is the Raven Detail Ink and I go ahead and stamp out beautiful and then I stamp out hello um, and I am just using a stamping block here um, so it was going to be like one and done no matter what. I also sprinkle around these uh, triple hearts and that is going to do it you guys. I absolutely love how this layout came out and I really would love it if you guys tried this uh, out. I just think painting on uh, embossed vellum is gorgeous. So there it is you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again real soon for another video.